Oh no. The dark side oh. calls. Will you turn against the light? Yes! Ashley! <laughs> New Darth Maul legacy lightsaber. Hey, welcome aboard flight crew. We're at Disneyland. Yeah! There's a lot of new Star Wars stuff here today. A lot of new Star Wars. Show them the throne. The Book of Boba Fett throne. We are taking over. <laughs> we are ruling the galaxy with fun and just love for Star Wars. And we want you guys to join us today. They have a bunch of new things in the trading post. It's really loud though. They have a lot of music playing right now. Do you like Jabba the Hutt? No, we don't have this. Oh, look at that shirt. Oh, oh, that's the one I want to get. So they just put out this light speed sort of button up. Oh, I love that. Oh, scrunchies. Mm -hmm. I like the holographic one. Oh yeah, totally. That's fine. It comes in a little carrying case. Yeah. So they have some Boba Fett things. We've seen this one. This one's been here for a while. Yeah, it's cool. Team. Yeah, for your ba Boba Fett baseball Boba team. Boba Fett. <laughs> you got a simple Boba Fett shirt, fed it up. <laughs> it's all the bounty hunters of Boba Fett. It's like, I'm the king. I'm the center. Princess Boba. Princess Boba? <laughs> oh, and they got just a simple logo shirt. We saw these last time. These are fun. Kind of a simple way to bound. This looks a lot like the lounge fly. It must be from lounge fly. Oh, yeah. Long time ago. Spin around. Now spin. There you go. Try. Let's see. Scratchy a little, but light. <laughs> light speed, Chewy. It's got all the episodes one through nine. This is just like the lounge fly bag we were just checking out. You want the backpack too? I might need the little backpack for it too. This is actually a lounge fly bag. I didn't realize the Millennium Falcon bag. It's a hard shell Falcon bag. You keep all your tools in there. That's cool. It's one of the 50th anniversary figures. That's so cool. Got her little blasters. Yeah. You saw this. They have a Darth Revan from the Knights of the Republic games. I think a lot of people want to see this character in one of the movies coming up. A lot of people were like, you should have Keanu Reeves play Darth Revan, which would be actually pretty cool casting. I showed you guys this last in this keychain, but it's part of that same collection. The beanie also has this. It's a fun collection from Loungefly. Actually, this one just says Disney on it, but I think it's through Loungefly. A little snowball on top, that's a little different. It's fun, they have Forloom. They had a character very much like this in The Mandalorian. Uh, a guy named Chris Bartlett played him. Really cool Star Wars fan who got to become one of the actual actors in the show. Fun, this is a another button down, but it's a bunch of the movie posters all kind of collaged together. I think I might have to get this because I design movie posters. There's the one that I worked on. This is actually from her universe. I'm gonna have to look online and see if they have a size for me because there's not one here. Oh, uh, a wine, wine stopper? <laughs> 20, 20 fuzzy dollars. I like it. Okay. We might have to get another one of these at some point. Ours is not looking shiny anymore. It needs a good oil bath. Oh, wow. Anakin and Obi-Wan. Sort of that conflict moment of Vader forming. So I think it was every artist. Yeah, I got a chance to. Like a scene from a different movie. Yeah, they all got like a different one of the films yeah. designed for. So that, that one's kind of cool. I was saying Anakin versus Vader. He's got the high ground right there. Uh, it's the moment right before Vader happens. Va Vader's almost like, do it, do it, come on. Let me free. <laughs> wow. The, the end ceremony from, oh my gosh, Anakin and Obi Wan are in there too. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see him. Han's still a little bit like, hey, she's mine. <laughs> Don't be weird. brother and sister by that point. <laughs> we have a lot of work from Jeff um, at home already. Some tiki art, but he just did this A New Hope one, which is really cool. I love the colors on it. I got it. I love this one. I kind of want to put it in my office or something. I, I like, like the horizontal. I'll look cute in the baby room. It'll look very cute. That's like the that's the final shot of the Skywalker saga. Yeah. Ashley Taylor. Ashley Taylor? Oh, 100%. Let's get that. 55? 55? Oh, let's do it. One of the best moments in that movie is you finally get to see Ray have her own lightsaber. 34. 34? That's not bad. Oh my gosh, yeah. But like, there's that duality you saw in Rise of Skywalker, how they're connected, which is kind of cool. Oh wow, it's literally a complete flip of each other. So you've got Kylo and Snoke. Oh wow. And then you have Luke and Ray. That's cool. I really like this guy's style. He does a lot of this sort of mid-century looking artwork too. I think it's so playful. I <laughs> think he's got the Roger Roger on it too. Roger Roger. Oh, I didn't even realize this is, a, this is actually C-3PO's body. Oh, that's that, not a full that battle joint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was hilarious. That was so fun. Good 
swap their heads out, no problem. Yeah, no problem. It's Not just you just plug and play. Uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> Ashley's got something. They're still here. They're oh, they're still, still here. here. <laughs> I want still, I would still buy waiting. this. Still it's for you. 50 bucks. It's like mark it down. Nobody's buying it, unfortunately. I dig the colors though, and I love solo. I would totally buy this. So, like a lot of you guys probably saw online already, there is the new Mall Shadow lightsaber. This is his Episode Seven lightsaber when he fights Ahsoka. Do you want to check it out? I know you're yeah, a Darth do. Maul fan. Thank you. Sure. Wow. Okay. Oh wow! So there, you can see the crystal inside of it. I think you guys can hear it pretty good. Now the test out if it's scratchy. Not that scratchy. If it's scratchy. It's, this is soft. Is it Feel really it's soft? It's like rubbery. Oh, it is. It's got like a kind of smooth rubber coating yeah. on it. I was afraid it would be like too sharp to hold. Yeah. It looks like a sharp. It looks like a cheese grater or like. It looks like a cheese grater. <laughs> yeah. New Darth Maul Shadow Legacy lightsaber. How do you feel? Powerful. Yeah. Again, the cool thing with this one is this end you can screw on actual Darth Maul lightsaber they used to sell here. And you can have a double sided. I know. I don't think they sell anymore. I think they they, they discontinued the Darth really? Maul. I think. Thanks. If you did not buy the original one, you don't have it right now to connect, which is kind of unfortunate. But I mean this saber is still cool on its own. It's a single bladed. It's got the cover tech clip on it as well. It, it looks like it's like an easy one to hold yeah, for actual dueling. Bad. I'm surprised it's a lot softer than I thought originally it would be. Oh wow. So it feels like a big broadsword, like as like a knight. Big double-handed saber. It has a nice grip to it. Wow, I really like this. It's got a big activation switch too. You can kind of see too when you turn it on. You can see that crystal lights up when you turn it on too. I'm, I kind of, I'm a little more sold on this one. This one's pretty awesome. But again, I wish I had the, the mall so we could connect it. Yeah. Easy to come out. It's pretty heavy in the, in the in the bottom. It's pretty heavy down on this end. How many do we have now, Brian? We have too many. How many? <laughs> I think we have like eight. You have your two Ahsokas. Yeah. We have the Obi-Wan, we have yeah. the Darth Vader. And Leia. And we have the Leia and yeah, the Ray. And the Ray. I didn't count that correctly. I think we're at least eight. Yeah, so. that's what I said. Wow, you're right. <laughs> I didn't believe it. We've got eight. About 179.99. 179.99. And then the, this is like 50 bucks. 50 bucks a blade. Okay. Wow. So it's cool. You can even see the wires kind of in there. There's a fun little detail. That's kind of where the crystal is in there too. Appropriate for him. Fortunately, I don't think we're going to be buying that one. Light crew. Yeah, we're, we're gonna buy artwork instead of buying a lightsaber today because we're actually probably gonna appreciate the artwork more than we will the saber. But we're not done. There's a few more things here in the shop we wanna check out. Ooh. So these look edible. I don't think they are, Ashley. I know you've been collecting holiday cookies at the park. See, they, if they sold these as real gingerbread, yeah. I would buy all of them. I think we'd eat them before we even got Three home. Three times over. <laughs> Three times over? <laughs> I would buy so many. 50 bucks. 50 what bucks for fake cookies? Oh my gosh, but those are cute. They're very cute. The same I, as my lounge fly bag. It is a lounge fly style. Mm -hmm. It's the same design for my bag. I wonder, it's just not really labeled as lounge fly, but it might be. Yeah, they're probably like one designer and then they share the design. Yeah. It's fun. It's Luke hanging up in the cave. I was saying when you look at it, you realize the Wampa, he's not such a bad guy. He was just decorating his cave. He was just hanging up Luke. You can see he's got all the fun glitter in there too. He's just decorating. This is how he celebrates Christmas. He hangs up people. <laughs> oh my god. That's not secure. It's a display. It's a display. It's not real big. Don't lean on these. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. No. Nick and Taylor, flight crew members, I was saying I liked Nick's shirt because it's very mid-century. I mean, he pointed out it's very Boba Fett colors today. We have to get yeah. take the picture Subtle. out on the yeah. front. I know. Yeah. Are you are you taking home a loft cat? I would love to take home a loft cat, but I think I may be putting it on my Christmas list. Oh. That's what we do. We go, we go like, <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Santa Saint <laughs> Nicholas <laughs> needs to pick up the uh, the loft cat. <laughs> I, I, I need you to do something. I need you to press right here, Ashley. It does Oh wait. I like, I want this just for the itty bitty teeny mask. 
Itty bitty teeny mask. Little mask. It would be so funny though. <laughs> no, you gotta buy the whole the whole set. That's a fun a little Christmas one. Right, so we got some new patches in here, guys. You saying this one? That one's a yeah. new one, I think. Yeah, that's new. I really dig that. Orange, it's got the Batu logo on it. It's actually oval. It's not the distortion. It's actually an oval patch. Ten bucks? Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. I might stick that on my uh, my bag or my uh, my new leather oh, pouch. That'd be cool. Well, we're gonna finally buy these. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're buying all this. Okay. Add it to the pile. Pile of cool stuff. Gotta use that Dream Pass discount for all this gear. So we didn't buy these Boba Fett patches last time. We were like, we don't need to buy them. But then Ashley went and did an awesome Boba Fett bound recently. She just posted on her Instagram at Making Your Own Magic. And we are like, dang, it would have been great to have those patches because we could just stuck them on the outfit. Oh, the little ginger cookie. Oh, that is your bag. Yes. That's right. She bought that Chewbacca cookie bag. She wore it for life there. And they have a little pin for it, so. So, Tuka? Tuka? Mm -hmm. So this is Tuka, you guys might recognize. This is from Bad Batch. This is uh, Wrecker's stuffed animal. And it's so cute because you forget like the clones are kind of like kids almost, but they're like, they grow up fast. So this was like his little safety toy that he carried with him. And they let Omega kind of like hold on to this, give her a little comfort. Oh, there's Wrecker right there. This guy, that's his stuffed animal. Great success! Bought all those art prints, got the shirt, got the wine stopper. So it's cool, they have a giant sand crawler for Bring Home the Bounty. It's sort of a daily drops of like Star Wars merch that they've been putting out for the season. Fun fact, Grogu loves to dance. Especially when he's with Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the uh, sand crawler? It's pretty cool. I wonder how much junk it holds. Don't forget the canon copyright Lucasfilm LTV. <laughs> yeah. All sand crawlers are owned by Lucasfilm. <laughs> Ashley said it's not a real sand crawler. All the sand crawlers I've seen. Every single one of them has that on there. Yeah. This is so cool. This is Boba Fett's throne, Jabba's palace. Well, his throne now. It used to be Jabba the Hutt's throne. And it's got these awesome rancors on the ends of it. This is one of the coolest things they put up here in downtown for you to sit on. It's solid, too. I'm curious how long it takes to get from Star Traders to Batu. Okay. I'm just curious. Okay. I feel like 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to say 20. Well, I'm going to go 20. It's only a little bit higher than you. <laughs> One dollar, Ashley. I don't know. We're fast walkers, though. We are. Got some good boots on today. I love your Fennec Shan boots. I thrifted these, like, years ago. And just held on to it for the right yeah. moment. Yeah. Well, no, I used them for my um, Alice cosplay, Resident Evil. Yeah? Resident, I said residents. Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. <laughs> Which were hard to find, like, boots for her. And I saw these at the thrift store, and I'm like, oh, those are perfect. They're total raver boots. Oh, totally. <laughs> Fennec Shan would be a raver. She's got the kind of outfit for that. Fennec, Fennec Shan has the, like, she's got, like, straps on her boots, too. Kind of yeah. like this. So I was yeah. like, oh, those are great, and they're the right height, too. I think you pulled off Fennec very well today. I think the only thing I'd change is, like, if I had a black skirt and I with, like, some orange stripes yeah on it, i think that would like but your i mean your sweater definitely has the feel of her outer outfit it comes to a point just like hers too yeah my my kylo ren sweater yeah. that i also thrifted 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 you put this together earlier this week and i was in a panic again this morning like oh my gosh what am i gonna wear all i knew i definitely wanted to wear is this cool new holiday chewbacca shirt that i got from junk food clothing junk food how would he say ho 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 <laughs> Yeah, junk food clothing sent us this Life Day Chewbacca shirt. I thought it looked a little bit like Timo. The shirt came in the mail and I was like, you had a Timo shirt? Oh wait, Chewbacca. <laughs> They're very similar. So those are our bounce today. Ashley is Fennec Shant and I wanted to just do more of a Chewbacca-y kind of look. Wearing my new bag that we just picked up at WonderCon too. It's the first time I'm actually utilizing it. AirPods, Air camera lens. Exactly. Every little piece that I need to quickly access I can never get. I understand why Chewbacca has a bandolier now. What does he store in that bandolier? Do you think he has AirPods? <laughs> does he have AirPods? <laughs> Chewie could totally hide wearing headphones under his, his hair. Just like this. Oh yes, Ashley saw a cool uh, Leia dress in the uh, dress shop. I haven't looked at myself a lot today. I look like a Wookiee bum today. I'll pause the timer. Okay, Ashley's pausing the timer as we take a quick pit stop. That's pretty cute. I love the, the cape effect. That's smart. Yeah. And it's got the big yeah, the layer hood on it. <gasps> it's way thicker than I thought. Yeah, these dresses are really thick. 148? We'll do. 
148? Hi, Hurry Universe. Uh, pajama, soft pajama shirt. Christmas presents? Okay. We, we just need to like take a couple hours and split apart while we're here at the park and you go shop, I go shop. We just don't show each other with our bags. <laughs> That's the easiest way. <laughs> Let's fold, excuse me for a moment. <laughs> Part of what we were doing today was coming to do a little bit of Christmas shopping for family, for friends. Mostly so far we've bought some more stuff for ourselves. <laughs> here I think we're just going to do like stockings, right? Yeah. Because we're already like, like this like we already yeah. like buy ourselves what we really want it's, it's christmas all year with us so yeah we just want to do a simple stockings and stockings are my each favorite other, for each other we're just going to do stockings so yes i bought a bunch of stuff for you i did like a huge etsy shop like i went and got a whole bunch of things from etsy you did like in your stuff, stockings. you did like a small business shop kind yeah, of thing mm. i thought that would be fun i I'm tried excited. to pick out things that like you wouldn't see every day or something you wouldn't look for for yourself like yeah. i think I think the stockings are my favorite part of Christmas. We just walked into Disneyland. Ashley said, timer is at 10 minutes. So we stopped to, some stopped to talk to some flight crew members. So yep. I forgot to pause it. It's at, we're at 11 minutes and 30 seconds. There's okay. still time for me to be right. <laughs> uh, I could slow down a little bit too. <laughs> this is not your normal speed. No, no, I hustle usually as we're walking through the crowds. Just walking into Batu. What time is it? This is about 15 oh, minutes, no, I think. Okay, 18. I think you're close, right. Close. You were close. I think we we kind of did some pit stops along the way. I was like, it seems like so much longer, but it really isn't. Well, we're back on by two flight crew. Are is here, hanging out in the outpost. Hello. She's got the best view. You do have the best view up there. Me? I have the high ground. I can't complain. Oh, <laughs> she's got the high ground. <laughs> I haven't seen any sign of stormtroopers coming through those woods, did you? No. No, no. Do me a favor and keep your eyes open. You sure. I'm very capable, so I'm going to count on you to keep the outpost safe with you, okay? You can count on us. We'll be at Ogas. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Ray. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being a jerk. Ray was putting her full faith in us, and I was like, we'll be at Ogas. So, uh, everybody with a social media account, take note from how Brian interacts with the cast members. Yeah. Don't put them in awkward situations. Please. No, it's true. And I wasn't I even that good. It on TikTok. I know. People, people force the cast to do weird things sometimes just to make it awkward to get clout. They just want to play and joke around about being on Batuu. Yeah. So talk to them. I even felt like I stumbled over my words a little bit. I didn't know what to say. But <laughs> I never know what to say. I try to hold Kylo Ren's hand. Yeah. I think you do to Kylo what I do to Ray, where I'm like, it's Ray. And you're like, it's Kylo. <laughs> yeah, we're going to hopefully look for Kylo today. He should be coming out again soon. Oh, maybe right. Oh, there he is. We see Kylo right now. Kylo is patrolling. I've been expecting you. <laughs> I think it's you. Oh, right. Oh, it's what? Oh, no. Um, what were you expecting? The dark side calls. Will you turn against the light? Yes! Ashley! <laughs> you, you fall into your Grogu, too. fight your destiny. Oh, no. I cannot fight. If the Millennium Falcon is here, then the Wookiee is here. I will find him. You will. I believe it. Your support is noted. We believe in you, Kylo. We'll consider you an ally. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you turn so easily all the time. <laughs> uh. And think carefully on your loyalty. Yeah, Brian. Sorry. Brian. I'm a loyal Wookiee. Yeah. I'm not a Wookiee, I mean. Original. <laughs> <laughs> I get the gold star for the day. You did get a gold star. <laughs> Thanks, Kylo. Thank you, Supreme Leader. <laughs> Hi, how's the kids? <laughs> this outpost is nothing but smugglers. Me. <laughs> oh, he was He's talking about you. He's talking about He's us. Talking, not me. You're grouped in with me. I guess so, yeah. yeah. You're pirate. You're part of this smuggler pirate group. Very cool and special. Vimarati has snuck into the first order area. We're about to show you she's on a little mission, it looks like. Vi, be careful. Kylo was just here. He was just here. Do you see him? Oh no. There's troopers over there. Luckily, this this shuttle is kind of blocking the troopers' vision of Vi. The single stormtrooper is on his patrol. Everything's going well. He has no clue Vi is here infiltrating the base. 
luckily, I don't think they can see out of those helmets, so yeah. should be good. The anyway. <laughs> they don't have the best aim. <laughs> well, hopefully Vi makes it out alive and the trooper over there doesn't see your flight crew. That's pretty fun. I've never seen her infiltrate the base like that before. <laughs> He's just standing there like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Good eye. That was so fun. Like Vi is like over there. I know. I haven't seen her in a long time. And then a trooper popped up on top of the start, the uh, store. You saw a trooper? Yeah. He's supposed to go tell Ray. Oh, that's right. Ramen. I forgot. I did. I was supposed to tell Ray that. Well, I mean, hopefully Vi can tell Ray. Okay. But the stormtrooper's <laughs> just kind of standing there above the first order store, like looking around, and Vi's like. Psh, psh. I told her, I was like, oh, they can't probably see you with those helmets on anyway. Yeah. She's like, yeah, they don't have good aim anyway, yeah, this doesn't matter. Making a quick trip into Oga's, no, not Oga's, what am I saying? Doc Ondars. Just showing you guys a quick supply stock. Ahsoka, Leia, the Beret, the Ben, the new Darth Maul, Shadow Saber, and then they have... That's all they have right now at Doc Arnors. I think the Darth Maul actually might be available still. It's just out of stock right now, apparently. Maybe you can still buy the new Shadow Saber and get a Darth Maul and connect the two together. It's not here. What's not here? Kira's necklace isn't here. I'm sorry. You snooze, you lose. Oh, oh I'm so no. sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. That's all right. Oh. The fact that it's out of stock is maybe a sign that maybe it's sold better than most things. I hope. I'm just trying to be positive for you. Right it's now. okay. It's okay. all right. I'm not that sad. Okay. I know. I, I'm, I'm sad, but I'm trying not to be sad. You're raging on the inside. I think that'll do. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Spin, Daddy Obi. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> I think it looks good. Yeah. I think you can get that one. Merry Christmas, Ashley. Merry <laughs> Christmas, Brian. Have you perfected your crate dragon roar? Oh, you gotta get that. <laughs> <laughs> give, a, give me an example. The original, the OG is like. <laughs> There's been like three versions of it. Oh, the wow. original, the special edition version, and then like the new one is more of like a. Ooh. That's right. Because as a kid, I didn't realize what was, what he yeah. What? I didn't realize he was making the noise. Yeah. Cool. Oh so cool. How did they know? What? Get out of here! Oh drop your weapon! I said drop it! Wow! <laughs> and I are coming. Wait for him to say Roger, Roger. He's not saying it yet. Saying I think he's just got so many things. Wow. Or does he just sit? I don't know. I wonder if he can stand up. So cool. We just kind of came here on a whim to check out some of the droids. And another new droid, the battle droid. Really cool. He says a ton of different phrases. I Pretty cool. To replace your elf on the shelf. Droid on a void. I don't droid know. on a void. <laughs> Santa hat on him. I think that's a great idea. I think that would be so much more fun than elf on a shelf. I agree. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Oh, no way. So you can take the C-3PO and you can swap out 3PO with the battle droid, just like in the movie. We were looking at that earlier, too, on the, uh, the piece of artwork where you saw that C-3PO's head was swap swapped out with the battle droid. We're just going to get the battle droid, though. Well, we definitely did some holiday shopping damage like we intended to today. So much from Batu today. They had just too many cool Star Wars things. The Trading Post, Galaxy's Edge. I didn't think they could put out any more, but they did. I'm tired. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Boba Fett's Starship, as it has been renamed, Slave One. It's only 15. Look at this. That's pretty cool. I know, it looks like Heroes, right? It but it's kinda looks like not heroes. heroes. It's not, it's just Disney. I wonder if it's a lounge fly piece or something. No, again. it's just Disney, Lucasfilms. Wow, okay, so that's like one of those military wire yeah. cords. That's really cool. Yeah, it's got like texture. You got the uh, Mythosaur Boba Fett skull. Some got some, uh, that's some of the uh, Mandalorian language on there. Mm. Probably says Boba Fett. Wow, that patch is pretty cool. I like that it's, oh, and it has a Mythosaur again, like in the background. Whoa, it's got all of his details. Play button. Play button. <laughs> 
That's on his armor on his chest piece. There's like that's the lights that flicker on and off. Mm -hmm. What's inside? Nothing. Nothing. You can fill it with whatever you want. But it's squishy on the back. It's got like that sweat oh, wow. stuff like it's breathable. It's cool. And so it doesn't it's get like all wet on your body. That's good. This is like a sling bag too. So yeah. it goes across your back. Yeah. Stylish. Oh, the child likes it. A good little shoulder bag. Fifty dollars. Fifty bucks. Fifty buckaroos. I dig that. That's cool. And there's a little zipper too. You got a little side pocket right here. This is a pretty cool new Bubba shirt. Ooh, wow, that is cool. The book of Boba Fett. It'd be funny if at the very end of the season and he just writes uh, the end I and closes the book. Uh, <laughs> and it was all the story. It was like a nice yeah. sitcom. It didn't actually happen. Oh. So this is not the sand crawler that we saw earlier. So there's even like a little grappling hook in there. You could, whoa, you can bring this arm out. Pick up your droids, I guess. Wow. There's an R2. I don't have a bad motivator. <laughs> I'm a Fun, it makes all the Java sounds. If you put R2 here, press up, it go up. Oh my gosh! Are you inside? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Wow! This is like a Disney castle for boys or, or girls. Anybody can play with it. Disney castle for the Star Wars fans. That's cool. I wonder if it's remote control if it actually works. Oh, Wow. It would squeak like that. It lights up too in here. I didn't mean to do that. It just kind of did that. I wonder if this is a panel too. Oh, so you can go in there, the control room. We bought a lot of stuff today for Star Wars. It's our Star Wars Christmas to ourselves. Day. Yeah, we got so much fun stuff. Like we got all that artwork in the beginning of the day. I didn't expect that we were gonna buy a battle droid today. Either. I wasn't expecting that either. I did plan to buy Obi Wan today. You did. I did want to do that because I've got I've got the wig and the beard. I'm ready. I'm ready. I just need the ensemble. We give a little taste of your Obi Wan impression again. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> well, I hope you guys had fun with us. We just did a fun Star Wars shopping day today. If you enjoyed hanging out with us today, we have other Disneyland date nights, like our Dark Side Disneyland date night. Most of the time we do Disneyland, it's Star Wars themed. If you haven't subscribed and joined the flight crew, do that already. Hit subscribe, hit notifications on YouTube and on your phone so you can keep up with all of our fun adventures here at Disneyland Galaxy's Edge. Until then, flight crew, always believe. Bye.